Yargle. Yargle. The commander of my choice for Voltron. Yargle. Yargle is a 9-3 power and toughness mono black commander. And I think he's just amazing. I love him. I love him a lot. Now, why do I love a vanilla commander for my Voltron deck? Dude, he's awesome. Okay, let's... The, <laughs> the dude's awesome, okay? All right. Why would you run Yargle over any other commander? He's a 9-3 for free for five. He's a 9-3 for five. That's what I love about him. Uh, the dude hits like a truck. When you throw Yargle out, how many times? How many times? How many times have I legit gone to my playgroup? I'll play the exact same commander. Yargle, play this commander whenever I'm ready to just have heads turn and look. Because it is the funnest thing whenever you throw down a commander, especially if there's someone new. It's the funnest thing when you throw down your commander and they're like, what's he do? Who is he? It doesn't have an effect. He's a 9-3? Like, dude, that's the best part of the whole... Like, oh my god. He's a 9-3. You can abuse that in so much. I can't even explain. The worst part about him... Shout out to Prof. Shout out to Prof. He dies to, this is not my day. This is just not, this is, this is, this, the, he dies to removal. He dies to removal. He freaking, shout out the prof. I love that dude. He dies to removal. The dude is a vanilla. You got to protect the son of a gun. There are things you can do to protect him. Uh, you could throw enchantments that says whenever he dies, he comes back to the field. I actually run a, um, I actually run a deck that's based around bringing him back from the graveyard. Why? Because it's fun. It's cheaper than paying five every time. I always zoom. I don't care. I got nine three. Okay. I also run equipments. I run the swords. I run the. <laughs> I run the swords. I run tainted strike because a nine three plus one an infect. Man, that's so good. Anyway, a nine three plus one with infect, tainted strike. It just goes in a deck. Hatred. Hatred goes in any mono black Voltron. You can kill anybody. All right. What else do I do? Uh, my bench warmers. Let's talk about my bench warmers. I got a uh, plague mirror. He's my he's my second in command uh, because when a plague mirror hits the map, he's either going to get rid of removal for Yargle or. Yeah, he's going to get rid of removal for Yargle. Other than that, uh, all my other command, uh, all of my other uh, bench warmers either get me mana. Um, there's only one other bench warmer that actually uh, that I would like to talk about because holy crap, is is she just amazing? And I, <laughs> holy crap! So the the chick that I'm talking about, she kills. She you sacrifice a creature. When you sacrifice a creature, you get zombies equal to the power of your commander Gisa 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 it's probably horrible the glare is probably bad Gisa what she does is she kills your commander i.e. Yargo if you have something to bring him back or whatnot it doesn't matter I actually like to swing and then if they have something for him uh I would sacrifice him to her and then you get uh nine zombies or however many zombies is equal to his power if he has any of the swords on him, which is by swords, I mean anything that does the same effect as uh as the the the, the holy crap black blade. So it, all the things that say equal to your lands or equal to your swamps, uh your creature gets plus one plus one. So he gets big, he gets big. So you, you wanna hit like a truck, 
he want to hit like a truck, and if he hits, and you can bring him back, you can sacrifice, flood your board with zombies. Uh, nine zombies, that's 18 power on board. Someone's going to have to throw a board wipe or something like that. Um, the thing about the zombies is that uh, you can equip the swords to the zombie, to a zombie, sacrifice it, get more zombies. Um, and then you could keep your, leave your Yargo alone or whatnot. Um, a lot of people give you a weird look whenever you just, whenever your Yargo goes to the graveyard and they're like, you're like, all right, cool. I'm going to exhum or I'm going to bring a creature from my graveyard back, back. And then I'll put Yargo on the field. They're like, what? Is he in the command zone? No. I sent him to my graveyard. Yeah. He's not in the command zone. Just things like that. Yargo's fun. Okay. He's, you give him a sword, you make him hit. Uh, what do you do to get the dude in? All right, just in case you're looking for, maybe I should probably check him out. All right, how do I get a nine to it? Rogue's Passage, just Rogue's Passage. Rogue's Passage is a easy card to get a hold of. It's cheap. For four target creatures, unblockable. You can get them in. All right. Most of the time, you probably can, if you can swing with them, just swing with them, and uh, you'll end up. Uh, you, you, sometimes they'll be like, oh, he's nine? Nothing? No effects? Nothing? All right, I'll take it. That's when you take to strike them, or you hate them. The, it happens all the time. It happens all the time. I've won play groups just by killing one person, killing the big person at the table, because they thought they were invincible, and then start running through. Or swing at somebody who has the combo pieces out, who has just their combo pieces out. They'll take it. They pretty much take it all the time. I don't even know why. Like They, they think you're so attached to the... To the vanilla, but lo and behold, your Voltron deck is your Voltron deck is, is, is reses from the graveyard. So you're a graveyard based Voltron deck. No one really, I've never heard of anybody actually doing that. There probably is, but like, yeah, you're in Model Black. That's one of the best things you do bring things back from your graveyard. So bring them back, give them a pair of boots. Um, any recommendations for playing Yargle? Uh, number one, Sword of the Animist. Get Sword of the Animist. The reason why you just get lands. You need lands. It, thin, it thins out your deck, but it lets you play spells. And when you're playing Voltron, you're trying to get, you want, you want to play more spells. Um, your mono black, getting lands is great. Like a rampant growth on a swing. Yes. Uh, another thing, uh, Explorer Scope. It's a, Budget, uh, Sword of the Animus. Sword of the Animus is running dry. I've been looking a lot of places. I really can't find them. They're everywhere, but you really can't find them unless they're in like someone's deck or they're always in someone's binder, but they're never trading them, but you never see anybody use one. I've been sticking Sword of the Animus in every one of my decks. I don't know. Like recently because uh, Boros needs help and Sword of the Animus just helps a ton. So it, 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 it's a free ramp. It's good. I actually think Sword of the Animus is, if not, just as good as if you were running a uh, Solemn Simulacrium or Solemn Asalam Lakum, if that, if that, that, that's what I call it. But it helps. It, it helps. Uh, so Solemn, Solemn, because uh, it's an equipment deck. It runs a ton of equipment. You have the J's and all the other stuff. So um, anything else that gives him trample, death touch, or stuff like that, I'll do a deck review on Yargo. I just want to talk about Yargo. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. It Give a thumbs up if you like video and content like this. Let me know. I actually like making content like this. I just recently got a tripod so I can, instead of holding it, I can talk and talk. So thank you guys. I'm going to make a lot of videos like this today. So, hope you guys enjoy. Please be safe and careful.